Yo, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Shrine here with another gameplay video playing some free for all on Extinct. And yes, it is finally a different gameplay, a different map, not Biolab, not Riot. This is amazing. I finally got a gameplay, guys. Moving on to the topic of today's video, I'd like to talk about the realization of the truth. Something that really most people can't experience or can't understand even myself i do not understand the truth sometimes okay so basically uh, i gotta stop saying basically all right uh, whatever back on topic really the truth you will not you will be blinded unless somebody else tells you the truth and you will stick with your ways until you find out the truth for yourself you find out by like an experience that is not good or maybe good because the other day i was talking i was playing with my teammates and really, they would not listen to me, which angered me, because they're making some of the dumbest plays that there were. And really, it, it just annoyed me, because the plays they were making, they were just public people, random plays. And I'm sorry, not taking a hit on public players, but most of you guys, you aren't the best and aren't the smartest at working at teamwork. And basically, that's what my team is doing. They were trying to make individual plays. They were making dumb plays. I told them one thing, and they wouldn't listen. And I feel like that happens a lot to me. Every single team that I'm on, not many players listen, unless like I'm good friends with them. And really... I feel that my team right now, I'm not really that good of friends with them because, I don't know, I just don't enjoy playing with them. Now, it might not be because of them, it might be because of them, I won't leave that, I'll leave it open-ended. Because I know they do watch my videos, but really, the realization, what like it took a game or a scrim with a team excellence, like a semi-pro team or top amp team or something like that. It took them a scrim with them to realize that I was right. Like, really, it shouldn't take that. You should be open-minded about your teammates. You should be working as a team. You should listen to each other. You should strategize. But really, that's not what they did. And really, the realization of the truth, I realized that I might not make it to what I want to do. Like, every person that's playing competitive Call of Duty, they want to make it in the pros, they really want to make money and all that. But, I don't know, I might not be able to make it. People, Some people say that I'm good enough to be a pro player. I mean, on excellence, I was dropping 30s and 40s. But, I really don't know if I'm that good to hang with the pros. And one reason is because... I don't know, I just can't find a team that I like, and nobody has that dedication, that grind. They are always want to do something else. On the team right now, we got somebody that just wants to work out, and this dude just, like, he wants to rest. That's all he does. He doesn't want to grind. When he says he grind, like, basically, we're playing 12 hours with a 30 or an hour minute break, so actually we're playing, like, 11 hours. It's not even straight. We have some breaks. We just go do whatever. Really... I don't see that as a grind. I see the grind as getting up and playing 18 hours a day. Because when I was younger, I used to get up like at 7 and play till 2 a.m. every single day. I got like 5 hours of sleep. That was the grind during summer or during any break at all. But if it was a school day, I would get home right from school, get on the Xbox and play. And really, that that's sort of losing its momentum or flavor because... I don't know, my team is just doesn't seem to want to win, or dedication isn't there. And that's what I realized. And what I realized about some players is that they will not, like, get better. Some of them will get better, some of them won't. It's really all about their mental standing, or how they see it, how they prescribe it, or how they want to go about their ways. And really, once you realize the truth, a lot of different things will happen. Like, in during Ghost, I realized the truth that I was a basically garbage player. And from then on, I stepped it up. I started playing my own way. I, like, I hardly looked at what the pros used. I hardly looked at how the pros played. I just worked with teams, used experience. And basically, some time to time, I admit, I was watching the pros. But most of the time, I just found my own way to play. And that actually worked. And I was actually slaying. But then, other, I was trying to get picked up by a team they wanted to slayer. And really, when I slayed, yeah, they still got mad because we lost. Alright, anyways guys, that's all the time I have for this video. If you liked it, put, hit it with a like, hit it with a favorite, hit me with a subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces.